What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As always, it's your boy, Big Sour, and today is the day. It is the day that we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. I don't know if you've even heard of this game, because today we're playing Multiverses. Now, to quickly describe Multiverses, it's a platform fighter, which is Super Smash Bros. like, but it is made by WB, Warner Bros. So the properties are entirely different, and truthfully, the gameplay is pretty different. Not so much the point of the gameplay, but the way that you approach the gameplay. There are key differences in the gameplay that I'll come to explain later on as I make more videos of this, and I'm definitely gonna be making more videos of this. But right now, I just wanna show you what the game looks like. I wanna show you some good gameplay, or what I think is good gameplay, with everyone's favorite character, Shaggy. That's right, Shaggy, the mystery machine himself is in this game and honestly i think he's one of the better characters he's pretty much a ken if you're familiar with street fighter so we're gonna go ahead and get into this i feel like with shaggy one of his biggest rivals is superman and you're gonna see why in these clips these games go kind of fast so at the end of each fight i'll point out what i think were key moments in the fight that gave us the win or gave us the loss because this is about learning I haven't played a game like this in a long time, but I'm definitely committing to this game. Anyway, let's get into this video, and let me show you how I give him the sour shaggy sandwich. And like I said, we're going all shaggy all night, gentlemen, lads, ladies. Dude, anyone want a super shaggy sandwich? We're just getting into it by ourselves. We played quite a bit with my homie in Big Chill Town last night. We make a good team. I think he enjoys this game enough where we might be playing this a lot together, and that would be really sick. He was playing Superman, and he was honestly a pretty decent Superman. My god, double Supermans. Let's go. This one might actually be a little difficult, bro. They're gonna be big. I just gotta throw my sandwiches. I gotta focus on sandwiches. I got bugs on my team. That's our advantage. I go full forehead on this game, so... I don't know. Don't expect the best commentary while I'm in the match. Let me put it that way. I'll break it down after. Damn it, I should have done the sidekick. Kind of let myself die right there. Ah, the problem is they, they're big and then they have the fire perk too. So under them, it's always gonna be hard to get. See, god damn, I can't even go for that uppercut. Okay, hold up. Need more sandwiches. Ugh. I like, totally threw that the wrong way. That grab, dude. That's pretty good. Totally stop my attack right there. Ah, oh, it was the wrong way. Damn. I might have actually spiked him right there. Oh, damn it. Come on. Scoops! Scoops! Red team! Defeat! Damn. Yeah, that was pretty difficult. I'm going for the rematch on that one, though, for sure, dude. I need to learn this team up. I need to get into my Ultra Instinct form so I can throw my bigger sandwiches and give them the weakness. Because without the weakness, they're not going to go flying as fast. 
Ah, uh, they didn't want the rematch. That's that's lame. Though players tend to rely on Shaggy's sidekick due to its ease of use, I believe his ring out potential is much better when you're going up. However, Iron Giant has a perk that really prevents you from getting over or under him, which really was the detriment in this match. You can see this pretty clearly in how I get rejected on my uppercuts. And here on the edge, I have to fake him out with an uppercut into a dropkick just to get back in the ring. Which is why even though I send this Iron Giant pretty far out, I decide not to fly in for the uppercut finish. Need more sandwiches? I like, totally threw that the wrong way. This requires no explanation. Like what you see? Stop into the stream sometime. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. It's just hard because I feel like with Shaggy, his actual power comes from spiking him up and not out. Because you come in, you're like... Or you're like this, right? And then you spike him up, boom. Spike him up again, you know? That's where his real power comes from. This is your cheese move. I actually use that to move around half the time. I don't Choose use that always as an attack. Sometimes it's just a super dodge. Kind of like how Superman... It's funny, we're going against Superman. Because Superman has an extra long dodge. But Superman's pretty good. He's got a lot of movement. And I feel like Shaggy has a lot of movement in his moves. You just gotta use his moves correctly. Like just another day for mystery ink. Damn, he just buffed the out of that. That's what it, Superman has a good bit of charge attacks, too. Okay, I should have just gone through him right there. The Superman is just crazy in the air. Finally. Okay. Just gotta stay alive. Ooh, he just knocked me into that. That wasn't even skill on the Finn's part. Damn. I got zoned. One up, one low. Keep, keep being the wrong way on that attack. God, I'm moving this guy up. I'm actually doing more damage to him than he is to me. Shut it! Yes! Yes! Get this guy! Oh! Come on. I gotta get him in the up. Oh, there we go. I was a little slow. I went for the sandwich. Dude, this Superman's lit. I like this guy. He does not back down. He plays like a like a Superman. I like him. Okay, I can't challenge him on the top. That's how I'm gonna lose. Let's go. There we go. The double dodge, baby. The double dodge. Baby, let's get it. 
Ah. Uh, respect. Respect. Now, since this match goes three rounds, I'm just going to point out three things from each match that I felt were particularly important. Right here, the psychology of getting a weakened state on the opponent is illustrated. With Shaggy, once you go into your special form, any charged special attack will inflict the weakened state. A weakened state will knock the enemy back much further. So it was very important to get it on the Superman. We danced around a bit. Velma ended up getting the down. However, still pretty important moment. Here we see the psychology of movement. There is no blocking in this game. It is only dodging. So me and the Superman essentially get in a dodge fight. Superman has a much longer dodge than every other character. So this was pretty challenging, but we were fairly matched until the Finn broke it up. Now, since you know about the weakened state, I'm gonna introduce you to another concept called switching it up. Here, I get a double weakness on both of them, but I whiff my aerial. So I don't get to pop any of them off the stage. The Superman grabs me and throws me to the right. However, at that moment, I decide to switch targets to the Finn, which actually confirms us a kill. A lot of times when you're getting pressured by one of the enemies, the best tactic is to just switch to the other one. Now, I know I said three clips, but this fourth one is too important. A big part of fighting games and really any competitive game in general is learning the psychology of your opponent. Fighting games just give you a lot more time to do that. Here, I know that the Superman is expecting me to attack off a dodge, so instead I go far out to the rim of the map, then come back in, which wins us the game. I definitely want a rematch on that. Rematch on that, dude, that was a good one. She did a lot of damage, but me and the Superman were dueling. Straight up, dude. We were having a battle of the minds with the way we were dodging. The fight we were having was a lot more technical, that's for sure. The real story is me and this Superman. That's the real story of this. Ah, wrong way. The charges are just weirder in this. How you. It's not a smash, it's a neutral. I should have waited on that. I totally burned that super. I gotta go more for the auto combo. I was just trying to get my super up there, man. Okay, I'm focusing too much on that. Superman. I gotta focus more on him. That's what it is. Again. It's really a, it's a true rivalry. Match point. Red team. Careful. Uh, I cannot come down on him from the top. He's actually got a lot of coverage on that. He's a little bit faster than me on that. I 
Ah. Uh, I still- I knew I was in there for a fraction of a second too long. I knew I should have dodged out of that charge. This clip right here illustrates the presence of mind of the Superman. I get into my rage form and he keeps me off the map, which forces me to use one of my special attacks to get back in, thus using up my rage form. I do continue moving across the map with my dropkick, but I don't manage to capitalize off of getting behind the enemies. Now I only want to talk about one other clip from this game. The Jerry dies right here and I end up in a 2v1, and I get knocked around a bit, sent into the air, but I still manage to get two knocks off of it. I managed to knock both of the people, and this is because of the extreme air in this game. What you have to remember is that you can dodge twice, jump twice, and do two specials in the air. This means you're going to be in the air effectively two and a half times as long as you would be in Super Smash Bros. I feel like the biggest trouble most people are having with the transition is not seeing this as an aerial game. Me having played Marvel vs. Capcom and other anime fighters like that, this is kind of in my wheelhouse. No, I went down, man. I actually went a floor down. No! He got me with a peek. I tried to back up on that. That sucks. Spin. He was just spamming that. Oh, I couldn't move out of that area. Match point. Blue team. Now I need a He totally predicted that sidekick Super Saiyan charge, man. I was very obvious with that. Ah, I hate I hate that I'm in attack decay on that drop kick, but it is it ends up being the best move. Like in most situations on this map right now. Victory! I wanna give respect on that one. I don't want a teabag. That was hardcore. That was a crazy second match. Now this first clip is a combination of a few things. I really like this map because there are two platforms, and when there are two platforms you can really play with hitting the top platform from under. I do this a couple times and the Superman starts to predict it and uses his lasers to defend against it.
but that actually puts him in a position where he has no response once he gets knocked off the map and it leads to him getting down. So there are a couple lessons to take from this, I'll leave you to decipher them. Now this analysis is more of a strategic one, though it seems like we're in a worse situation because I get down and then the Velma gets down, putting us at a life disadvantage. This is actually a pretty good situation if you can capitalize on it. We're able to get the Finn down, and I managed to knock the Superman very far. If I was able to get a knock on that Superman, we could have gone down, isolated the Finn for a couple seconds, maybe pushed him to the edge. In any case, we would have gotten a significant damage advantage, and from that point on, we could have isolated the Finn for the fourth life. You gotta think about the overall strategy of your lives and the rounds in general. Fighting games are very brainy. Though they're very flashy and sometimes confusing, you gotta remember to think. I got better at reading that Superman though. He couldn't go for the laser, I think is what really made the difference on that final match. The second floor prevented the laser, I really like to fight on the bottom floor of maps like that. It's harder to get spiked out. And with Shaggy, you can do a bunch of uppercuts. You can do your special uppercut or your regular uppercut. There's a lot of ways to play under the ledge. It's great. Thanks for watching, everyone. Drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Peace and love.